Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> product review here at M's Diary. I am opening up my bed story pillows and two satin pillowcases from Amazon here in the UK. It's difficult when you can't go shopping and you can't go outside during this stupid pandemic, but this is a product review and I'm hoping things are going to be opening up by the spring of next year. So, just reviewing my pillows before I go to bed tonight. Um, here at M's Diaries is my pillow review, buying them off Amazon. Please thumbs up, a thumbs down, like or subscribe for more product reviews and for more real life stories, inspiring real life stories, product reviews, and for more um, advice videos, please subscribe below, hit the subscribe button. So this is the pillows that I bought off Amazon two months ago. I've been sleeping pretty well uh, with these pillows. The only downside about them is that they're not super wide. Like they're really long, but they're not really wide and stuff. And I kind of like my videos being wide when I sleep. I find I like, I'm a side sleeper and I toss and turn a lot when I sleep. So that's the challenging part about this. I do like the silk pillowcases. Those are very nice. So though, don't put two silk pillowcases on two different pillows together because they will rub a lot and it'll be very slippery when you sleep. It'll kind of feel like you're slipping, sleeping around on an eel or a seal because it's so slippery. But um, for what it's worth, these pillows are worth the price. Um, bed story pillows and bed shirt pillowcases off of Amazon. Um, obviously I've had to do a lot more online shopping during the coronavirus because you can't go inside stores for anything. So it's forced me to shop off of Amazon more than I normally would. Um, so yes, uh, check out M's Diary every week for new videos, every Friday, every Friday afternoon I make new videos. Um, and check out for travel vlogs too, if you'd like to travel and you want to know more about London or North America living, check it out in my other videos and if you're a side sleeper or you sleep on your stomach and you don't really sleep on your back like me, then stories from um, Bed Story Pillow is perfect for you. Um, pros, it's good for your neck. It doesn't really hurt your neck um, as long as you don't stack the two of the same pillows together. Because when I stack the two pillows, two of these like together at once, it kind of like hurt my neck when I was trying to sleep because they're too thick. You need like a thinner pillow underneath a thick pillow if you're gonna stack two pillows. I I find with just one pillow with these, it's not enough neck support for me and it hurts my shoulders and my neck a lot when I try and sleep. And like I said, they're not super wide. If you want a wider pillow, then definitely go with a different brand. But other than that, they are pretty solid pillows. Um, they are I think I got them for 27 pounds or 28 pounds off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. So check out the description below. Um, and when you click on the link below, I get a commission. And depending on which side you like to sleep on, this is definitely the more comfy side. This side's kind of like rough. I don't like the material on this side. That's another downside. This is definitely the softer side. I kind of have a weird thing with certain materials that I just don't like sleeping on them and I don't like touching them in general. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like satin pillowcases, women generally sleep with satin pillowcases or silk pillowcases more than men do. I don't think men care as much. Like, obviously you can tell by the way I look that I'm just about to go to bed. I do not normally have my hair this messy when I'm waking up in the morning. So I'm kind of trying to make this video look as realistic as possible since this is what I look like before I go to bed. It's 11 o'clock um, UK time as I'm recording this video. Um, but if you have curly hair like me, you want a satin pillowcase. You do not want to go for a regular pillowcase that will mess up your hair. So whether you're male or female, if you have curly hair or frizzy 
hair and hair prone to frizzing out when you wake up or hair that's prone to knotting and tangling, definitely get a set silk or satin pillowcase. You won't regret it. Um, my hair knots a lot when I sleep. Some people recommend for my type of hair to put it in French braids when you sleep or to tie it up in a bun or something and wear a shower cap over your hair so your hair doesn't get as knotted when you wake up because it takes hours with conditioner to fix and untangle curly hair. Curly hair lovers know what I'm talking about. So stay tuned for more advice like this. This whole thing I'm hoping will be done so sometime next year. So. that I got in this package. I ordered pillowcases, but I think they're in a secret package. I think so. Oh, no. They're all in one. So these are get cozy pillowcases that I bought because I didn't want regular pillowcases. I just wanted something that won't ruin my hair when I wake up. So I think this was like eight pounds or something, nine or ten pounds for two pillowcases. And then I paid about like 28 pounds for, for a decent sized pillow. The size is throwing me off, I guess. I was expecting... I guess it's folded up in two. This pillow's a bit weird. It's like you can't expect what, what you'd see in the store because you don't know what you're buying when you buy it online. So I'm hoping this is like, this will expand or something. A bit confusing with the pillow size, but hopefully it's what I was expecting when I ordered it online. I hope so. So I'm opening up the pillows. I hope I ordered the right size because they look a lot smaller than what I was expecting. But I'm hoping this is what I wanted when I ordered it. Looks like it's coming out of its pancake flattening, as it was flattened during the shipping, so it seems to have expanded, which is good. You really vacuum seal these things, so it makes it look like you don't have a pillow in the first place. It looks pretty decent, so it's very soft. It feels like sheep wool. So I'm hoping this will be a good for a good night's sleep, better than the pillow I was using before, hopefully. And I'm going to put the pillowcase on it and see what happens. So this is the pillowcase. And I'm going to put um, these two pillows, hoping they're as good as Amazon says they are, I'm expecting that they are. One thing, though, I don't like ordering off Amazon is electronics like cell phones, um, laptops, etc. Because you don't know what you're getting with these specific requirements and merchants can lie. And I'd rather go in store or a trusted PC shop to order a laptop rather than order it online. Because there's problems with the machine down the road, you don't know what the warranty is. If you've ordered pillows or electronics off of Amazon, let me know your experience in the comments below. So these are the cases. They look very nice. Hoping they will fit just fine on the pillows and they look decent material, and hopefully it'll be nice to sleep on tonight. So this is the final result of satin pillowcases on my pillows. Hopefully they will be good for a sleeping result, and I will sleep better tonight than I have the last two weeks since I moved to the UK. Let me know in the comments below what your experiences are with ordering bedding off of Amazon or anything off Amazon in general, and if you yourself have tried bed story pillow pillows or satin pillowcases from Bedshire, have a great rest of your day.